Now that we've managed to get an impressive level of accuracy from a single term of this infinite series, I mean, how much harder can the second term be? First things first, we're gonna keep k equals zero because we've done all the hard work on that and it's this number down here. So that's one, three, five, nine, one, four, zero, nine. I mean, it's just that number there, so I probably could have copied that. We can now get rid of all our previous working on k equals zero and then get cracking on k equals one. Okay, for k equals one, I'm just gonna do everything that's under here. So this is, um, let's just see if it fits here. Right, so first term, six factorial is 720. I know that, that's fine. If you wanna multiply six by five, by four, by three, by two, you can do that to make sure that's right, that counts. Uh, oh, I've got a, k is one, I've gotta add those together. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so uh, that's gonna be five, four, Four, five, one, thirteen again, five, six, seven. So 720 times that divided by three factorial, which is six, times one factorial is one cubed, still one, yes, times, oh, just all of that. You know what, I'm gonna put the negative out the front just to make everyone's life easy and then I'm just gonna copy that entire number down here. It's two, six. Right, so all I gotta do is multiply this one by 720, multiply that one by six, and divide one by the other. Here we go. Three sevens are 21. Okay, so that is seven times. Uh, it needs to be 700, so I'm gonna put another two zeros on the end, and then I've gotta do twice it, but 10 times. So that's gonna be an extra zero. Okay, here we go, doubling that. Two threes are six, two fours are eight, two fives are 10, uh, four zero. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Uh, four and nine are three, one and five, one seven. I have made a mistake. Are you still, we still on? Yeah. So this is why we do the checks, right? So I was going through and double checking this one and I thought something was off. This here, I've accidentally done. Oh, I'm done. Five and three got me 12. That should be eight. Four and one are five. Five. I'm pretty sure that's right now. There's a non-zero chance. We're gonna have to come back and fix that again. Uh, 21, four, two fives are 10. That becomes 11. Two fives are 10, that becomes 11. And then, oh, that's one there now. One and one, two, one and one, two, one and nine, that rolls over, that becomes four. Okay, I think that's right. Okay, up next is two, six, two. I need to do six times that. Okay, so I'm gonna do that in one foul swoop. Okay, so that's now it multiplied by six. Annoyingly, I now have to divide this number by this number to get the second term that I then subtract off the original term. I'm gonna do a reasonably quick version of what I did before, but I'm only gonna generate the table for these as I need them. So I'll move this down a smidgen, table here, division there. We'll see what happens. It's got seven more digits. It's gonna start 0 0.0000000. So we've already got, you know, six digits right there. 12, five, six, seven, four. 16 becomes 17, four becomes eight, becomes nine. Okay, so that means the next digit is definitely a five. Oh, it's because I got, I got a spare, free zero. Get in, okay, right, so do some subtraction. 80 minus, 84 minus four is just uh, classic 80. Hey, three zero. What's six gonna be? Six is one more, it's gonna be 15 on top plus that, that's gonna be slightly, that is close. Not quite six, but nearly six. It's gonna be a five, I'm just desperately trying to avoid having to calculate all the six, but it's definitely gonna be bigger, so it's another five. Phew. Okay, so, oh, we just copy that again. Okay, so now the next one, that is very close to four, 
but a little bit smaller. So it's between three and four. So in theory, the next digit is definitely a three. But if you get sick of doing this, and you know what, you've got enough digits, we're gonna round it. You just pick the one it's closest to, call it a rounding and put it on there. So that's closer to four than three. So I'm just gonna say four and call it a day. So the number I've ended up with for the division for the next term is 0 0.000000. 2554. That is K1. Finally got it. All I got to do now is because it's negative, subtract that off K0 and then do the division again. Okay, so this is the K equals zero term and all of its multiples to make division easy. We've now got the K equals one term, which is negative. So we have to subtract that off the original one. And then that's what we're going to divide by in a moment. So what I've done is I've kept the full division table and I'm just going to subtract this and multiples off it, off every single one, to get the new table for the second calculation. And that's pretty easy. I just reduce all of these by one. So uh, nine becomes 8.999. Okay, so what I've done here is I've reduced all of them by a tiny, tiny, because look how small this is, right? And then I'm going to kind of cheat by doing the main one first. So I know it's going to have, you know, six nines and then subtract that. So there's three nines, four, five, six. If I subtract that, I'm just going to do the nines complement. So two, that becomes seven. So I know that's my, that's my new term. That's the first two terms put together. And I'm going to cheat because I know this band of nines is going to be here and I'm just gonna do the multiples of this and just mesh it all together. And in theory, it'll be fine. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, we'll double it. Eight and four is 12 becomes 13. So three is 11 becomes 12. There it is. Again, it's a bit skew if, but what are you gonna do? All right, ta-da. So there it is. We've now got our brand new dividing by table, which is the first two terms together in every single multiple of them. Now we need to divide our number here before. This, this thing at the top needs to be divided by that. However, we approximated that this way last time. That's not going to be good enough because this needs more precision. Otherwise, we're not going to get the accuracy afterwards. So we've got to redo this calculation. I don't want to lose what we had last time. So I'm going to put up here four I'm now going to try and take this approximation and just work out what fudge factor we need to this to make it more accurate. And this is a slight overestimation. And if you ever look at a diagram, so if you imagine this is a square and the total area of that square is 10,005. And what we're trying to do is work out the length of that square. That is the square root. And what I did before was say that it's pretty much 100, right? So if you imagine this is 100 to, uh, not to scale, there, and then there. So this is 100 by 100 square. That has an area of 10,000. I've then said there's a little extra bit on here, which, uh, what I, I've called it X, I think, right? So there's X over there, there's X over there. And then I worked out how to make this area equal to five. What I actually did, was do 100 by x to give this a value of 2.5, and that's a value of 2.5, and then there, that's the overestimation. Down there, that has an area of x squared, and that is how much bigger we had by accident. So if we work, what I'm actually gonna do is work out how much we were over with this estimation, work out x squared, and then I'm gonna reduce this to compensate for that ish, we'll give it a go. So x squared is uh, 0.025 was our correction term, squared, which equals 25 squared. Um, so that is the area of that tiny square there, which is the amount we were too big by, exactly. But I can't exactly take it off because all I can do is reduce x by a tiny amount. So actually I'm gonna reduce it by Oh, let's have a correction term y, just for want of a better symbol. So if I was to come in another notch here, if I was to come back in so by subtracting y and then back in here by subtracting y, 
then I would be right. Except I'm going to have now this corner here. Oops. Now I'm going to have this corner here is going to be, I'm going to be under by that area. But this, that is going to be incredibly small compared to the previous error. So I'm happy with that as my new error. It's got to work out what Y is. And so I know this complete length was 10, the whole thing was 100.025. I've now just got to reduce it enough so the total area here equals that. Okay, so there's two of them, so half of that. So half of my error x squared is 0 0.000, half of six is three, half of 25 is one, two, five. Right, that's the area of one of them. And so y equals, if that's the area, I know that length, I wanna find out that length, it's just the area, 0 0.000, 3, 1, 2, 5, divided by the other length, which is 100.025. Oh, good. Another overly complicated bit of division. I don't want to lose that. <laughs> there is no way that is enough room. Okay, I'm going to, I'll check another classroom. I'll grab another whiteboard. Okay, I found, I mean, I wanted to find another rolling one, but I found another room where the board just wasn't that well attached to the wall, if I'm being honest. So if, if you give me a hand, I'll set it up. That still works. Yeah. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna use my technique from before to do that division. So I'm gonna set up a table here with one lot of 100.0. Okay, so what are we dividing? Three, one, two, five. Um, this has one, two, three zeros. We're dividing by a hundred, so we're going to the two zeros. So this is going to start zero point zero 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 zero. I guess that makes sense. Yep, zero zero. And then we're going to then now the digits that we're going to feed them in down here. So um, that was three. First digits are three. There you go. Off and racing. Subtract that off. Five hundred minus seventy-five is four hundred and twenty. Five, uh, that's 12, that's zero. That means the next digit is going to be a one. This is easy, come on. One. You must move over to 25. Yep, that's four, that's two, that's gone. Next digit's a two. Okay, uh, 200, zero. Five. I would love a coffee. Oh my goodness. Black Americano. Let's do it. <sighs> Where was I? Eight. It's going to be six. What's the closest to? Ever so slightly. Just. It's right in the middle. Do one more? Nah. Cut it there. So it's ever so closely closer to seven. One, eight, nine, seven. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. Nine, seven. Okay, so we've now got 0, 0.00, all this. We have to multiply that by our original number, the 426880 that was out the front of the square root. Multiply that by the correction term for the square root, and then that's the correction we take off our previous value. Can't go wrong. All I'm gonna do is multiply this by each of the digits in this term, add it all up, work out where the decimal point should be, subtract. Why are you laughing? It's gonna be, it's gonna be super easy, here we go. So the previous one was there, the next one's going to go here. Next one's doubling it, so I'm going to double this one, move it over one. Okay, so, okay, so I'm just going to do very, very small digits from here in. Uh, what if I curl it around? That sounds like a terrible idea. Three, see, look at that. See, it's just, it's warm, seamless. Shut up. <laughs> nine, I'm going to do nine. Over there, three goes down there. Um, you know what? I think that's probably enough decimal places for the precision I'm going to need. I'm just going to add it up and I'm going to call it a day. We're all happy with that. Excellent. So, let's do it. So, zero and zero is zero. I can go over there. Well spotted. Four and four. That should be eight. Oh my goodness. Never lay it out this way, right? This is like one of the easiest bits of the whole thing. And because I haven't done it properly, it's become a nightmare. But, we're going to see it 
through the nightmare as I try desperately and add these together and get them right. Four and eight are 12, 15, two and one becomes three and one becomes one out the front. So, never again, never this mess, but I'm semi-confident I've got that right. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I need to get our term from before, which is, I'll fill, I'll fill it in here nice and small. Four, two, six, nine, eight, six, seven, two. And this is our correction. So we need to subtract this off that, which means that uh, two on the end is gonna become a one. That's easy enough. That's a one point. And now uh, we subtract, I'm gonna do the nines complement trick again. So that's gonna be six, six, six. Ah, that's easy. Three, 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 five, six, four. Oh wait, I'm just copying it again. Idiot. I got, I got three is six. And two is our last one we're worried about. So that's eight. Okay. Cool.